Welcome to the Old Stream Farm, episode 5, with me, Mr. Sealy P. starting the episode today <coughs> excuse me um, at field 10 I suddenly realised I ploughed it but it hasn't been fertilised or slurried or anything like that so I thought I'll give it a whiz over with the sprayer it should <coughs> do its business absolutely now um, in response to a couple of things that have kind of happened over the last couple of days in the last episode, I am now fully aware that I had to pay for the water. I was so busy just filling up, didn't even look to see, and then kind of said out loud, free water. Then it wasn't free water at all. I just wasn't paying attention. I just assumed it was, and it's one of those things, isn't it? If you assume. Anyway, so that said, no, water wasn't free which was slightly annoying, but never mind. I have been doing an absolute ton of contracting work, as you have just seen, um, and I'm up to just under uh, 190,000. There's a few things I want to do in today's episode, but I thought I'd start off by getting some fertilizer on here, which is now done. Excellent. I thought I'd use New Holland because I, you know, I keep neglecting it. I do like the case, I really do, but I'm neglecting my New Holland. It needs to be used. Um, right, other thing I was going to say um, is that uh, mine's gone blank. Oh, yeah, I've had a few people, uh, the comments people are leaving, absolutely bang on. People are right about various different things, and I'm kind of taking all advice and, and on board. What I am finding is. Uh, because I've got more uh, subscribers now, I'm getting a lot more comments, which is, don't get me wrong, it is amazing. I'm not complaining about having subscribers or having comments, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, being able to reply and respond to all of them is going to start proving difficult. Um, it really, really is, and I feel bad about that. Um, there are a few people that have been kind of with me since the start and I do reply and kind of chat to a few different people um, but obviously the more people that are now subscribing it's getting hard to keep up with all the comments I read them and I'll, and I'll kind of act upon them even if it's just say oh have you thought about this have you tried this have you tried that and sometimes I do it off screen just have a go and think oh actually that's brilliant that's cracking that works that doesn't you know whatever you know um, so yeah just to make people aware I'm not, I'm not ignoring people I'm not you know um, it's getting to the point I'm just not going to be able to respond to everybody and I feel bad about that but um, the other thing is I've had a few people asking me about my uh, PSN um, which again is fine and I've given it out 
um, quite happily. Um, but the other thing to be aware of is that um, <coughs> the time, most of the time that I'm on here actually playing, um, I'm trying to record uh, for episodes and various different things. And I, and I get it. If I was doing multiplayer, people want to be on the multiplayer and they want to be, you know, part of the, the episodes and the rest of it. And that's great. And I have said possibly, and it is a possibility, when Sandy Bay comes out, because my daughter is desperate to play on Sandy Bay, Sandy Bay we have considered doing Sandy Bay as a multiplayer, which is something else. Um, if we do, then obviously, yeah, people are going to be able to come on and I'll probably record while I'm doing multiplayer um, but generally speaking if pe people send me invites and they're saying oh join us play on this I, I'm again I'm not being rude I'm not trying to ignore you um, I'm not ignoring you on purpose generally speaking when I'm on here and playing I'm recording <laughs> I'm recording episodes I'm recording clips bits and bobs that I need for an episode and with work and everything else I don't often play this just sit and play I don't just put it on and play for a few hours. If it's on and I'm not recording, I'm doing contracting work to get money to do things on the episodes. Um, so, I, again, I feel bad. I, you know, people are sending me requests and saying, oh, join us, join our game, you know, invite me and that kind of thing. Um, I don't often do multiplayer. I haven't really haven't done multiplayer at all, only with my daughter. Um, and if we do do it, we'll probably do multiplayer on Sandy Bay. And when we do, I'll say we're going to do it. Um, and, again, I'm not sure about times. I've also had people asking me, um uh when will you be doing it what time you know so i can join and that kind of thing again that's going to be a bit of a sticky one because it's going to depend very heavily on a when i'm available to do it when my daughter's available because she's at school and she has homework and all sorts of other stuff to do so it's when we're both available to go on and then you know whether that fits in with other people i'll try my best i really will um if we can get more multiplayers in we will i don't know when we're going to start them but it's in the pipeline that's kind of what we're aiming for so just to kind of say to people i'm not being rude i'm not trying to ignore people i'm not you know i'm not that kind of person um it's just really difficult when people are asking me for my psn and i'll give it out um and then i feel bad when people are asking me you know and i suppose you know a, a, a blunter person would just come back and say no i'm not giving it to you you know which i think is a little bit rude but i you know I don't know. I don't know which is better, being blunt with people or just sort of, you know, oh, it, yeah. you know what I mean. Anyway, that said, this plough, I had somebody comment and say, this plough cannot be unfolded. Bizarrely enough, although it's got the wheel, this one won't. And it's not. it hasn't given me the option at any point to do so. Um, did I have this one leased or bought? I did it leased, didn't I? Ah, right, what I'll do then, if I put it down over here... The guys from the store can come and collect it because I'm done with it. Because I'm probably going to get one of the jimper ploughs. So I detach that and put it there. All good. Now, I need to swap tractor for this bit. Because I am going to go to the store. I'm not quite sure how this is going to pan out. Uh, he says. Well, I'll pull, I'll just pull this up here. Yeah, I'll be alright. Here. Right, into the Puma. And up to the store, which shouldn't take too long at all. So anyway, I hope that's cleared that up a little bit. I was busy on fields, actually thinking about that before I disappear off into mumbling and stuff i did the contract on there on one of the episodes off screen uh we'll say off screen the little montages i've done seven right the way through to seeding so that's now growing i've done six harvested plowed uh slurried cultivated that's now ready for seed i just haven't done the seed on field six um so yeah i've done i've done a fair bit of contracting in all honesty um that looks like it might be moving on to its second growth stage actually so that might, might need a weeder as well. We might have to rent that. Because uh, that looks darker than that does. So, yeah, that will need doing too. Um, so, yeah, that's why I've got the, you know, the money's looking pretty good. Um, I have been busy.
what I will do at some point. As I have done on most of my Let's Plays, I'll go onto the kind of stats page and just just to show you, you know, what I've been doing, how many contracts I've done or missions or whatever you want to call them. So up to the store now. If you didn't watch my guide to um, the new Wago loaders uh, from Black Sheep Modding, which is you know fits in with the map rather nicely because it's a uh, black sheep modding map um, I'm going to get one I was I'm absolutely mega impressed with it really really like those so along to where was it low loaders I'm going to get the 10 meter because it's going to give me more options for moving vehicles about and stuff like that only 15,000 for a 10 meter low loader bale trailer whatever you want to call it um, that's brilliant it's gonna be a little bit more because i'm going to go with the one with the uh, ladders um at the front so fifteen thousand two hundred and fifty. like i say that to me that's an absolute no-brainer at the moment that's going to come in really really handy uh now the other thing was it was mentioned to me and it was kind of in my head anyway i did mention this the other day that's only got the lizard 340 has only got six thousand liters of capacity and uh most bales or, or most bales the bales are four thousand liters so if you can do that with bales how do you get a mixed ration into that with bales the only way of getting a mixed ration into that total mixed ration or power food whatever you want to call it these days um is doing it with a bucket with loose uh with loose stuff and then you can kind of mix it but even then trying to work out the quantities on six thousand you know you're gonna be looking at 1500 of this and one you know it's it's gonna get a little bit complicated um only downside being the trailed one is 41,000. it's almost double the price um but it just i might just do a ton of contracting work and get that and like i said i'm not getting the self line i've used that a huge amount on my other let's plays so i'm probably gonna go with the trail one i really wanted to use that but it's it really is too small once i get a few cows you're gonna be filling up so often um, it's going to be quite tricky. But anyway, uh, that said, it's, yeah, I don't know, a bit of a problem. So, uh, what was the other one then? Um, Plows. Now, because I've got the uh, mm, the Case Puma, which has got 200, and, what was it, 263? No, what horsepower has it got now? Oh, God, that's terrible. I can't remember. What am I on with this one? 270 horsepower right so at 270 horsepower i could get the medium one which is 225 which actually might not be a bad idea it's 30,000 though Ooh, a big chunk of money uh the smaller one is only 3.6 meters and that's 170 horsepower you know what i'm gonna need to plow i want to do plowing the big one's too big the medium one's gonna be pretty good i think for this map the big one's gonna be huge so the Jimper SJ9SR, I'm going to buy because I need it. Um, so plowing, I'm probably going to do plowing instead of cultivating. That's why I haven't checked yet as well whether I can sow over the top of plowing without cultivating. That was what I wanted to ask my, myself whether that could be done. The other thing I was going to look at was a weeder. Whoa, thirty-four thousand. Yeah, that is a bit more, isn't it? Um, oh thing is with it you know what i'm i'm getting it i'm getting the iron bog again the, the aero star rotation 1200 i've used quite a lot it works really well you may be sick of the sight of it but bearing in mind when i filled up that fertilizer spreader it cost me seven thousand and something because i am playing on normal remember no easy for me this time on normal um so if i can save myself money on fertilizer yeah i'm buying that as well Oh, dearie me. It's terrifying, isn't it? So, a few new purchases off there in the distance. Right. Let's go over there. Now, it's going to be interesting, actually, just thinking about it, because that plough's not going to sit on there, is it? And if I'm really unlucky, that weed is not going to fit on there either. Oh didn't think of that never mind not a problem 
I can always come back as and forwards. It's not like it's far to go, is it? Let's be honest. So, if you didn't watch my guide to whatever you want to call it, then go and watch it. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> this thing, I love. I, I really do like this. I've been waiting for a trailer that's going to be kind of handy like this. Now, has got rear beacons, um, indicators, lights, all the usual sort of thing. But this is the cool bit. I do like this. So, unfold. Drops the chains. Legs out. Ramps down. Job done. Now, if I just disconnect there and quickly jump out because it's put the feet down at the back it kind of lifts these wheels off the ground um, which makes it um, mind you that bear in mind I suppose thinking about it if it's lifted the wheels off the ground that's only on one pivot point there it's probably a little bit wobbly but anyway I digress um, it makes it kind of stable which is quite cool um, it's just a great mod I like it I like it a lot so now this could all go horribly wrong if it does don't judge me because <clears throat> you're probably already shouting at the screen going oh you're such an idiot why would you do that and you know what you're right so if it all goes horribly wrong you're not going to see what happens next i will pretend it never happened <laughs> and it will never see the light of yeah i'm just thinking because the legs come down further over yeah this might not work and when i say might not i'm almost certain it's not going to work but in the interests of trying why not give it a go, eh? It's better to have a go than never know. He says, oh yeah, that doesn't like that at all. Right, so despite what I said, it may have a good ramp, that's not going to work. Right, that's going to go back separately. Again, not a problem. It was kind of obvious that was going to happen, wasn't it? Right, so on to the next one then. Let's try this weeder and see if that works. I mean, the time I'm taking to do this, I probably would have been easier for just taking the, the things down myself, wouldn't it? But never mind. What has just happened there? Now, that's not good, because when I tried this out... Oh, that really isn't good at all. See, I got this mod on my test map. That never happened. Oh, I'm really cross now. So, this is a bit of a breach. Um, I've, I've brought the stuff down to the yard. I drove it all down. Now, the case falls through. So I pulled up, stopped, tried the New Holland. And it worked the first time. So I thought maybe it was just where it was parked up at this store. So I came back round. Now, if you're, if, if you're a black sheep modder, if you happen to be one of the black sheep modders, if there's more than one of you or just one of you, can you help me out? I love this mod and I'm gutted because every time I get to there, that happens. It does save for vehicles, but it's going to be a bit frustrating if you can't put tractors up on it. Well, I mean, not that it's just four tractors. I mean, it can be for bales and stuff as well. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's causing it. I've bought the trailer now, so at the end of the day I'm keeping it. Um, I just hope... Yeah. I don't know what it is that's causing it. If anyone else had the same problem, if anyone else has b bought this since watching my... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> my guide to, and is now cursing me. Um, it didn't do that. When I did my tutorial, I drove the case Optum up onto it, and it was good as gold. Now, for some reason, this little bit here is dropping through. Don't know why. Um, so there you go. Oh, on that bombshell. Right. Um, let's part this up then. Hmm. That was weird. What did that just do? Bit of a rock there. Uh, yeah, find a home for this then. Um, I think I'll stick up the top. Out of the way for the time being to need to do bales and stuff because I said it would come in handy and it will do, I hope. Maybe by the time I get around to doing it, there might have been a patch or something that was genius. Well done.
Yep, raving about that. I really like it, and now I'm a bit guys. Never mind. Right. Uh, Weeder. Um, I can do it on the new Holland. Hasn't got to be on this. I think field one needs weeding. So let's pop this in here. Right. Um, oh, yeah. I feel a little bit deflated now. That's weird. Right. Let's uh, hook up to the weeder. Oh, hang on. Will I have enough power for this? Didn't even check that. What does it require? Oh, 95, yeah. We'll be fine. I think it's on its next growth stage here. So I haven't got around seed or anything else, but uh, I will do. My f uh, silage is still bubbling away, fertilising, doing its thing. Now, is that changing state or not? Not sure if it is actually. Let me check the map. Now that definitely looks to me that looks darker than that. Go on to soil composition. Take that off. No, it's not showing. Hmm. Or is it? as close as it goes I don't think so maybe I have to wait I'll wait a bit more it's not going well is it let's be honest be set with issues today never mind something I won't have issues with well, driving in there the wrong way to unload this is obviously you know, going to be one. I'm all flustered now. That's not good. Part that. Jump out. Right. This is something I'm not going to have issues with. Now, my, my silage is fermenting. Um, I've got grass. Got water got straw in for bedding so you know what let's just get some cows uh i'm gonna get four just to start off with um i will get some more don't worry but i don't want to deplete all my funds straight away but let's just get some cows get some livestock on this farm confirm yes That's probably not a bad idea, actually, if I, uh, if I close this. Don't want to lose them out of here, do I? Let's be honest. Don't remember opening that again, though. So, as well as the sound of chickens driving me nuts, um, we've now got cows. Quite that big old chunky things, aren't they? Chunky old brutes. Right, let's close that door. I don't need to come in that side. But they can get in there. One. Two. Oh, good, a black and white cow. That's how cows are supposed to be. Well, that's how kids draw them anyway. Four. Nice, okay. Right, let's have a look at my livestock. Productivity is going to be low because they haven't got uh i could give them i could give them hay couldn't i can't give them power food but i could give them hay i've got that in the in the barn if i can give them hay um but yeah there we go liquid manure's already started milk tanks already started manure's already started excellent i will add to them as we go, but we've got cows, hooray! 
That's good news. Right. Let's get some hay for them, shall we? Actually, this end I can leave open, can't I? Saying that. Dear me. Right, okay. Let's go through, shall we? Start filling. Hey! I've only got 10,000, so... Uh, it's not going to take 10,000, let's be honest. So that, that was a good move. Well done, genius. Right, okay. So I want tip side left. That should be right, shouldn't it? Okay. Good grief, did it take all of that? It did. So it's just piled up down the side. That's a bit unusual. Just check in here then. God, yeah, it's given them hardly anything. Pfft, crikey. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't believe the power food makes that much. I suppose it must make a lot of difference, mustn't it? Base food, size your hay. Well, yeah, I haven't given them much of that, have I? Right, so I'll be making more of that, I guess. I'm going to need to get a mixer wagon because I don't want to be getting tedders and having to make hay and all that. It becomes a right old palaver, doesn't it? Might as well put the last of it in. Okay. Right. So I'm going to be having to make more hay. Mind you, what I've got left? 89,000. Oh, yeah, not a lot. I was going to say, I'll just go and buy one of those trailed things and start making grass and I can put it into the back of it. But uh, well, I still could, I suppose, couldn't I? Witness the thought process. Uh, no, oh, I don't. I'll have a think. <laughs> Not quite sure what I'm doing at the moment. Right, let's part this up. Put it back where it belongs. I have a, I had an episode like this on Law Falls, didn't I? Not so long ago. This seems to be becoming a bit of a reoccurrence now. It's not good. Try and kill the cockerel. Okay, right. So, I don't want to do a whole nother episode of grass cutting. Uh, might have to be a bit more contracting, I'm afraid. No, I don't want to do another episode. I can't do more contracting. People are going to kill me if I do more contracting. I'll have a think. I'll make a decision. Now I've got cows, though. That's good. Now I have come to a decision as to what I was going to do next um, and as you can probably see it's not a good one I did come off this yesterday because uh, I'm now recording this in two sections which I wasn't intending doing 
Um, cool, cows. Anyway, um, and I went onto my test map because when I read the mod information on this on the mod hub on this trailer, the one that I really, really do like, the Wago Loader, um, it said that some of the things that have been fixed were the collisions on the 10 meter and some like something else. So I then thought, well, maybe because I bought the 10 meter, maybe that still isn't maybe fixed. I'll go and buy the 8 meter, try that out. So I went onto my test map 8 meter, 10 meter, didn't matter what tractor I used, everything I used fell through. Um, and like I say, I'm a bit disappointed. Um, I like the trailer, I like the concept, I like the art, it's just brilliant. It's a good mod, it looks fantastic, everything else works, apart from that you can't put anything on it. Well you can put stuff on it, but you can't drive onto it, which is kind of the point of those ramps at the back. Um, so unfortunately, I'm selling it. I'm not going to make my money back, but it's one of those things. So that is my decision of what I was going to do next, for starters. Yeah, I'd say it's a good mod. I do like it, like everything about it. And and, and people, I did get a few comments on the um, the kind of guide to saying it doesn't work, or you know, and I was kind of, I was very pro it, and I am still pro the actual mod. And the the weird thing that I don't get is when I did the mod before I actually recorded it, I drove the case up to mump onto the back of it. And it worked fine, no problem at all. When I then went back in, after recording the first part of this episode, it didn't. I drove up and it fell straight through. So I'm, I don't get it, I'm really confused, but it's a pity. Unfortunately, until it gets solved, it is dead weight. Actually, that's not too much of a loss. What did it cost me, 15,000? So that's not too bad, actually. I haven't lost a huge amount on that. But I have sold it, so there you go um do i need to replace it with something i may need to get a slightly bigger normal trailer I, I do like it and if if they do a kind of they call them updates and you kind of reinstall the update and it fixes but if they do do that then i will happily reinstall it i'll happily repurchase it and i will happily use it at the moment not so much um yeah frustrating that so now back to the farm um, what I am going to do now is uh, have a bit of a think around what I'm going to do next. This is the end of the episode. I didn't realise when it came to putting it all together how much I'd actually done. Um, bit of contracting, a few bits and bobs here and there, sorting out buying cows, buying the equipment that I brought down, the weeder and the... Uh, um, mine's gone blank. The plough uh, and obviously the new trailer, which I had a bit of a fiddle around with and that was an issue tried to come out and do a bit of uh, fertilizing on this field but it wasn't quite ready yet so a few things being done i think next episode i might have a crack at doing those potatoes in field number nine that's probably what i'm going to do but anyway that said hope you enjoyed the episode if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share the video please be my guest whatever you should choose to do as always Thanks for watching.